Welcome back to the AGS tutorial. In the last video, we, we did some scaling so that Sammy was uh, sort of shrank as he walked up the stairs. In this video, we're going to, to do a little bit about um, um, room transitioning so that um, when Sammy walks from one room to the other, um, you know, he doesn't just all of a sudden appear in the other room, that you can sort of see him walk from, walk off the screen, so to speak. Um, and we're going to do this through scripting. Um, and the reason that we re that this is important is just for aesthetics purposes, but it's really an important aspect in the game is that you really don't want um, the player to be confused. If, if I accidentally walked off the screen and just all of a sudden appeared in the next room, it's like, well, why did, I, why, why did that happen? I'm confused. So, uh, but if you see Sammy continue to walk up the stairs and then he, he's, he, the player sort of gets the idea that, oh, okay, I'm walking to the other screen. Um, so usually it's a good idea to, um, to have the character walk off the screen. So that's what we're going to do uh, in this video. When the player leaves the room, he can either go up the left or the right staircase. If he goes up the left staircase, his X coordinate, the player's X coordinate, in other words, the, the X location of where he where the character will be on the screen. If you look up there now, it's my mouse cursor is at one X coordinate 144. So if he's walking up the left side, his X coordinate we know has to be less than 144. And if he's walking up the right side, we know that his X coordinate has to be greater than 144. So we'll use that 144 sort of as a um as a a key point here so that we'll know which direction he's walking up the stairs because that will be important in our script. So I'm going to open up the room script and I'm going to go down to the uh, leave top um, function that we had before that, that uh, is triggered whenever the character leaves the top of the room. And here I'm going to say before he changes the room let's, let's let him walk the rest of the way up the stairs. So here we say if Sammy's x coordinate, so c Sammy dot x, and that's again that's going to be Sammy's x coordinate. If that is less than 144, then we know that the that the player chose to walk up the left side of the screen. So I'm going to open up a curly brace and close a curly brace, and now I'm going to say. Okay, if he's walking up the left side of the stairs, then continue to walk up to the left side of the stairs. So let's go back to our room. So now we want Sammy to just go up to continue walking up this side of the stairs and sort of end up here. We want Sammy to sort of walk up to maybe this point, um, which will be, you know, he'll be hidden by the wall um, once we turn this into a walk behind. But, but we want him to be sort of right here, which is 8426. So let's have Sammy, we just say see Sammy dot walk. 84 comma 26 the blocking style we want it to block we want all for all scripting to halt until until he gets to that spot and we want him to obey the walkable areas we've seen this before so that's what we want to do now now at that point now we want to we want to change rooms so this change room down here after the if statement is fine. So at that point we want to change rooms to uh, to allow Sammy to go to the next room. So let's try that out. And again, we coded for the left side. So I'm going to act like I'm walking up the left side of the screen here. Okay, there. Now Sammy, if you watch, and I'll do it again. Watch what happens. And again, we haven't turned on the walkable areas. Uh, I'm sorry, the walk behind. So he's actually walking on top of the wall. We'll fix that. Uh, I'll fix that later. But just I just wanted to, to show to give the example of where he's actually walking. Uh, watch when my mouse cursor goes into the hourglass mode or the watch mode. At that point, the computer's sort of taking control. The scripting is taking control, and he'll walk up the the rest of the stairs here, and he'll walk over. So watch that. Okay, right there, he's walking up the stairs, and he walks over, and then it switches rooms. So that that's exactly the effect that we want. And let's do the exact same thing to the other side of the screen. So here I'm going to say else. Again, I'm using the else word. If c Sammy dot x is greater than 144, then we want him to walk up the other side of the stairs. So I'm going to go back to the room. Here we want him to go to the to about this position, uh, which is 21826. So we'll just say c Sammy dot walk. 218 comma 26 again e block and e walkable areas just like we did before and so that will work fine now again we don't have to have this if 
statement here. Um, you know, if if x is is less than 144, do this. Else, well, the only other possibility is is that it's greater than or equal to 144. If we, if we do here, so really we can just delete this. I wanted to put it in there just to to be clear in in our video what we're doing. But I'm just going to delete this. So we know if Sammy's x position is not less than 144, well, then it has to be greater than or equal to 144, which which in effect means he's walking up the right side. Um, of the stairway, so we know that, that that will be captured by this else statement here. So I'm going to going to keep it like this, and so now let's test out that that direction. I'm going to run the game, walk up the stairs, and now I'm going to walk up the right side again. Forget about the walk behind problem, but just watch when the uh, mouse turns to the hourglass cursor. Okay, he walks up the rest of the stairs and over exactly like we want. So that's that's the behavior that we want. Um, and then for the same reason we want when he's coming back down from the uh, from the party hall we want him to walk the rest of the way down the stairs and then sort of end up in the middle of the screen uh, automatically as well so I'm gonna demonstrate that real quick um, and the reason I'm gonna demonstrate that is because that allows us to uh, to show allows me to show one other thing that you can do uh, with a character property of uh, within scripting so let's go ahead and do that um, I'm gonna go into the room events this time we want an event to occur whenever the player enters the room. Now we want the um, event, do we want before fade in or after fade in? Well, well, we actually want Sammy to start walking in this function, so this, the, only, the only one that makes sense is the after fade in because we, we really couldn't control Sammy's movement in the before fade in because there's, the room's not on the screen yet. So it's the after fade in that we want. So I'm gonna click on the ellipses. And again, there's um, there's already something in the after fade, and if you remember um, several videos ago, we put this hello world statement in there. I'm going to comment that out because we don't need that anymore. But in this in this state in this function here is where we want Sammy to walk down the stairs and then end up in the middle of the room. Well, first of all, one thing to consider is Sammy. Eventually, Sammy can be coming from several places to get to the main hall. He could be coming from the party hall. He could be coming from the dining room, which is on the left side of the part of the main hall, or he could be coming from the garage, which is on the right side of the party hall. So there's three rooms that lead to the main hall. Well, we only want him to walk down the stairs and into the middle of the room if he's coming from the party hall. Well, there's a there's a property of the character that you can check to see what room the character is coming from, and that's called previous room. So what I can do is I can say if Sammy's previous room, the room he came from, so I'll say Sammy dot previous room, and then I'm going to say equals, and then the pre the room that we're testing for is room number two, because room number two is the party hall room. So if the if Sammy's previous room was room number two, then now here's where we put the um, the scripting lines in here to have him walk to the middle of the screen. So really it's just going to be one line. It's going to be um, C Sammy dot walk and we'll have him walk to the middle around the middle of the screen which is 160 160 block and obey walkable areas just as we did before. And there's one more thing we have to do and that involves the party hall. I'm going to go back to the party hall script and I'm going to show you what what else we have to do. If you remember we had this function leave bottom which basically takes us into the, um, the the main hall from the party hall. Well in this script we said change room go to the party hall, go to the main hall, I'm sorry, but go go to position 160, 160. Well we want to change that now. We want Sammy to actually go, I'm going to go back to the part, to the main hall here, we want Sammy to actually enter the room from from this area up here so that so that when uh, he's in the main hall, he, he will actually be starting from here and walking down to that position. So we want him to sort of start at, up here. Um, let me turn back on the walkable areas. And I believe it was 214.26 is where we had it before. So let's, let's have him enter the room from 214.26. So again, from the party hall, when he goes into the main hall, we want him to go into the main hall at position 214.26. That way, it'll give him a, a, a chance to walk down um, to the uh, to the middle of the screen. Okay, so that should be everything we need to do. So let's just try it out and make sure that works. So I'm going to click Run. Let's 
let's go up to the party hall and test out what happens when we when we walk down okay so we're up in the party hall now I'm just gonna walk back down to the main hall okay so Sammy comes from up here he walks down the stairs and now he walks right into the middle of the room so that's exactly what we want so um, looks like we've accomplished what, what we wanted to do here which was to uh, to show some things that you might want to take into consideration when the character is moving from uh, one room to the other so um, join us in the next video guys thanks